What's going on out there, everyone? It's Real Easy here, and I'm back right now with another brand new solo money glitch video. Well, it's not totally brand new. It is a workaround to the dupe glitch that we were doing recently. Uh, I have posted some money glitches in the past couple videos, and those are still working as far as I know, but they are a little bit harder to hit, all right? It requires timing and a little bit more, you know, finesse. So this glitch is for those of you having trouble, and uh, it's much easier, but it does take a little bit longer, all right? But you'll make your decision which ones you want to do and which one you don't want to do. So this is a pretty chill glitch. Uh, we're going to be bypassing the wall breach patch that uh, was implemented recently. And founders are in the description like always. What you're going to need for this glitch is it works on Xbox One and PS4, so you guys are good. Invite only session, you want a nightclub with at least garage level B2. We're going to be duping LG Retro Custom, so make sure you got your Retro or Benny's vehicle ready to go. Now, you do not need plates, it's a no custom plates dupe glitch, and you do need a Deluxo though, so we will be breaching under the map with the Deluxo, so make sure you have a Deluxo ready, and you need RH8s in a 10 or 6 car garage somewhere. I recommend close to your nightclub, and as well as the MOC with the personal vehicle storage to save your dupe, or you guys know you can save them in the CEO garages. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the video right now. So this is me, and I'm going to go inside my nightclub. And right now, I'm going to show you basically the garage setup that we're going to be having. So level B2 right here is the one that I'm going to be using. You can use B2, 3, or 4. doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go into... Oh, I guess I'm using B3. I went into the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting into uh, B2 or B3 right now. And you see the cars in slot 1 and 2? That's how you want your setup. Have your Benny's LG Retro Custom in slot 1 have an RH8, free RH8 in slot 2. All right, we're going to be duping over that. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit the nightclub, and I'm going to show you what, what and where I have my other garage, all right? Now, this garage, you want to just fill up with RH8s because we're actually going to be duping over RH8s twice in this glitch, okay? So it's kind of crazy, I know, but... Yeah, we're going to be duping cars twice just to get to the LG Retro Custom dupe, but it is well worth it. All right, so at this point, here is my... I have a six-car garage that spawns right next to where the MOC is, and it's pretty close to my nightclub as well. It's only a few blocks away. And I only have two RH8s in here. If you want, you can store you know as many as you can fit in there. But yeah, you want at least a few RH8s to ride over. And this is the beginning of the glitch. So I'm going to go ahead and drive one of these RH8s out. Now, once I've driven this out, this is where it's a little bit different. Now, you could have started this before if you wanted to. This is where you'll kind of get the hang of it. But at this point, we actually need to bypass the wall breach. The way we're going to do that is there's two ways to do it. You can either sign in as a CEO or a VIP and start up a VIP job like Sightseer. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm actually going to start up Sightseer. And believe it or not, that's all you have to do to actually bypass wall breaches or wall breaches with the death barrier on them, all right, that were implemented. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually going to sign in as a CEO and I'm going to start up Sightseer. And uh, it's a 15 minute long mission. So I'm going to go into how we can, you know, kind of navigate through all that time that we're going to be, uh, you know, using per dupe. Now, once I start up Sightseer here, the timer will start, and then I'm going to proceed with the glitch. Now, not only can you start up Sightseer, but, you know, or any VIP job, really, not only can you do that, but you can actually start up uh, the nightclub promotion. So if you go to your nightclub and you go to the office, you have that option to promote the club, you can start that up as well. All right, so you don't always have to use the CEO VIP jobs. You can just promote the club and then move on with the glitch, all right? So... Grab a streetcar, leave your RH8 back over there and drive away. I know a lot of you have done this. You want to drive far enough to actually be able to, you know, call your mechanic and request another vehicle. Make sure you leave that RH8 on the, uh, out on the map. And what I did right there is I just requested my Deluxo that was sitting in another garage. It can pretty much be in any garage. Del Deluxo doesn't matter where it is. So once I've grabbed my Deluxo here, I'm going to fly over to the spot where the wall breach is. And as you can see right now, I have sites here running, which is what you need for this part. That's why I was saying if you want to start it a little bit earlier, you know you're going to be doing this glitch. Go ahead and start it earlier, okay? Because, well, I'll get into it once we get to that point. But right now, we will be approaching the area that we're wall breaching. And here we go. It's going to be the top of that garage. For those of you that don't know the location, that's it right there on the map. Now I'm going to go into hover mode and I'm going to fly into that little crevice right above the tip of the garage or at the top. 
So right when I've gotten in there, I'm gonna try to lower myself a little bit, turn around, and I'm gonna head over towards the airport because that's where the nightclub interior is. So I'll make my way, my way over there. I've gotten pretty good at the location of the nightclub here, but you wanna make sure you kind of approach it like me. And I mean, I definitely took a lot of adjustments here, but I know exactly where I wanna drop, all right? You wanna make sure you have the car steady, but this is basically the location right around here, all right? You don't wanna be too close to any of those uh, white roads, or not roads, but you know what they look like on the mini map, all right? The part of the runway that's grayed out, you don't wanna look at any of that, or you don't wanna be close to it. So that's the spot. Once you're centered, go ahead and just drop your wheels, you know, take off hover mode, you should land in the nightclub. If you don't land in the nightclub, then just go back to the breach and do it again. If you did, we're waiting right now for that radar to go dark. Right when it goes dark, you hit the gas. All right, we hit the gas and you can tap it or just, you know, hold R2 or RT. And uh, yeah, so look at the plate right now switch. All right, I put it in slow motion. You're going to see the plate switch once I drive forward. It had roll easy and there we go. It has a generic plate. So we actually did dupe our Deluxo. So those of you that are worried that you might lose your Deluxo, don't worry, you don't. So make your way over to your nightclub now. Before you enter, before you enter, open up your phone and you want to order up an LG RH8 over the spot that we're going to be going into. And I'm going to show you which spot that is. All right. So if you go over to the list, we're going to go over to garage level B3, I believe is the one we're using. Yeah. So B3. So you see the LG Retro Custom in slot one and the RH8 in slot two. You want to order it over slot two. All right. That RH8. Don't order over your Retro. Once you've done that, drive your Deluxo into that garage, all right, B3. You're gonna get a alert like that that says you need to remove a vehicle, go ahead and accept it. Once we're in there, guess where we're gonna be putting this Deluxo? It's gonna be in that spot, spot two, and you're gonna see that it, it, it does become glitched, okay? So right here, go ahead and put it right there in slot two next to your LG Retro Custom, and the spot is invisible right now, okay? So as you can see right there, the spot's invisible. Now it's super easy. All you gotta do is go over to the blue circle, and you're gonna see the magic happen right here. So pick up your LG Retro Custom in slot one and just move it into slot two, and there you go. Once you've done that, it'll dupe right in front of your eyes, and believe it or not, this is what just happened. So the dupe is actually in slot one and you carried the original car into slot two, okay? So I just wanted to make that clear. That's the dupe, this is the original right here. So as you can see right there, I have two plates that are identical. Those are dirty dupes. Those, that, that's what I was saying in my last video. That would be a dirty dupe, but we still haven't finished the glitch, okay? You, you, didn't, you do not wanna keep two cars like this with generic plates at the, you know, the same generic plates. So we're gonna hop into slot one because this is the dupe we just made. Look at the plate, LXH. Drive out, and once you've driven out, then the plate will change, 27TSZ. That is the plate that we got from the RH8. Now this is a clean duplicate and you're good to go, all right? So, well, it's clean, but you need to go ahead and save it. But yeah, you're not gonna get dupe detected, nothing like that, you don't have to clean dirty dupes, nothing, all right? It was only like that temporarily, it wasn't actually saved, so. Once it's actually saved, that's when it can be detected. But like I said, we just got a fresh plate from doing this glitch. So you have nothing to be worried about. You do not need custom plates. Here is the biggest downside of this glitch now. So remember we started Sightseer. You cannot enter your MOC while, you, you know, while you're in Sightseer. So that is a little problem. Here are your options. Either, you know, just literally sit there, you know, in the car, go grab you know, something to eat, go get some food, you know, do what you gotta do, maybe just, you know, go clean your room uh, while the time goes, because as you can see right here, I have seven and a half minutes, so I can just come back later, or if you wanna actually play the game, go ahead and call up your buzzard and complete Sightseer, all right? Earn a few thousand dollars, I think it's like 25 grand or something like that, or around 20 Gs, but uh, yeah, as you can see right there, it's those little mini games that are in the phone, uh, and then you go out and you find the package, okay? Well, you don't have to find it. It tells you the location. You just go to it and you just pick it up, and there's three of them. So you have that option, or I literally just waited. I went, I went ahead and literally cleaned my room. So <laughs> I came back, and there I am. Sightseer is about to finish. Once Sightseer is done, then we can, we can actually, you know, save the car in the MOC. But yeah, this car will always be on the map, even if you try to get your buzzard over there, all right? But, uh... Yeah, so at this point, I thought I was gonna be able to drive in, but it takes a little a little bit of time when the VIP work finishes to actually reset. As you can see on my mini map, yeah, you see I still have uh, you know, a GPS leading over to the sightseer 
uh, suitcase. So right now I'm just waiting and I think it just reset right now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there we go. Once you start getting your Lester text back, that's how you know everything just reset and you get the blue circle. So I'm going to press right D-pad, go in here, make sure you have the MOC with the personal vehicle storage so that you can actually save the dupe. All right. So here's, this is pretty much it. All right. I've saved the dupe. And if I wanted to rinse and repeat, it's pretty simple. All right. Now here's the thing. Okay. So we already used the CEO job. Um, or VIP job I should say there is a little bit of a cooldown for that so that does suck but like I said you can still promote the club and that'll act as the same thing for the wall barrier so right after you do that I recommend going to your nightclub and promoting the club so that that can actually start and then you want to go ahead and go to this garage and you can grab one of these RH8s that's in here right now and drive it out and proceed with the glitch. You know, you have to drive this out, leave it right there in front of the garage, grab a streetcar, drive far enough away, call the mechanic, get the Deluxo, go into the wall breach and, you know, fall into the nightclub, drive out. You got the dupe, go back to the nightclub and order the RH8 over that second spot. Once you've done that, put the night, or, sorry, put the Deluxo in that second spot and you are good to go. You have the dupe once you've switched it over and you save it, all right? I know that was a lot, but I mean, I just showed you the whole glitch nice and slow. That was just a super quick, you know, run through. But as you can see, there is, you know, uh, a cooldown time. So promote the club if you want to go ahead and do this again. And if you're using the promote the club, you can purposely fail, I think, or wait for a time to run out just like this one. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Another easy solo dupe for you guys to take advantage of. My name is Roll Easy. Shout out to the founders. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.